Hello, my name is Lisanne Murphy, and I have the opportunity to apply today for the training coordinator position in the development department. I'm very excited to have this opportunity to speak with you today. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. I wanted to take a moment to answer the two questions that I was asked to talk about in this video. The first being, what is an instructional solution that you have given to a learning problem that you've seen? I have a few examples that I'd like to demonstrate with this. I have worked extensively with the Visitor Center program here at the MTC for a number of years now. And when the, I first came in, the curriculum was very centered on helping missionaries gain necessary teaching skills to use the resources at visitor centers. We have found that this does not help the missionaries really make a true impact in the, in the experience that visitors have coming into the visitor centers. I've worked very closely with Mark Lesvardi and Melanie Cottom to create a new curriculum that's much more focused on helping the sisters understand the importance of their call, help visitors have a powerful experience at the visitor centers, and help the missionaries connect all the experiences they'll be having online in the visitor centers and historic sites and in their individual proselyting areas. It's been a joyful experience to focus more on learning outcomes than on teaching skills, and it has dramatically made a difference in the culture of current visitor centers and historic site teaching, experience, teaching experiences for the visitors that come there. I've also had an opportunity to work with the Progressing Investigator program at the MTC. Currently, the way the program is set up, the progressing investigators the missionaries teach are also the missionaries' teachers. This can provide some conflict for the missionaries having the character of the investigator and their teachers being the same person. In my area, as an English training coordinator in the training department, I have devised a system where classroom teachers will switch classrooms to be investigators for other classrooms than their own missionaries, allowing missionaries to have their investigators be one person and their teachers being another. Still fulfilling the curriculum objective, but helping the missionaries have a more authentic teaching experience with, with their investigators at the MTC. In regards to working with teachers, I have found that some teachers want more help than others. And so I have created a Google Doc where teachers can sign up for time to work with me in the classroom or at my desk. This has proven an incredible system to help teachers get the help that they need and help those that want to progress, progress quickly, being that they don't have to wait for uh, specified times to meet with their training coordinators. They can dictate that time. In regards to the second question about the struggles that learners have with English as a second language, there have been a few key items that I've identified. One being that missionaries learning a new language have a lot of cognitive overload and mental fatigue from having to translate the language back and forth in their head before they, before they speak. This can crea create a, a large degree of fatigue in the missionaries' learning. In the missionaries learning. I've also seen that missionaries struggle with finding meaning with the things that they are saying and learning. As they struggle to find the words as their vocabulary is limited, they struggle to have the experiences with people and companions and investigators the way that they want to. This can be a frustrating experience. I have experienced this for myself as I was learning French in France and I found myself being frustrated that I couldn't communicate who I really was and what I really wanted to say. I've also seen this happen through the Visitor Center program as I've watched hundreds of sisters learning English as a second language to prepare for their mission. This can often isolate people as they're not able to communicate what, they, what they'd like to those that they care about around them. 